we can't unlock this device because it's currently active on another AT&T customer account. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. And on this video, I want to show you how to unlock your AT&T devices. In this case, I have two iPhones 5SE. This iPhone was released on March 31st, 2016. You can still use iOS 14.3. All right, so how can we unlock these phones? And these phones are from AT&T. How can we know that they are from AT&T? Simple answer is you go to settings, then you're gonna go to general, about, by this model number, you can tell that this is an AT&T iPhone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy it and you're gonna paste it on a browser, paste and search, and look at this. iPhone SE, AT&T, 16 gigs, silver, and this is silver. So that's your confirmation, guys, that this iPhone is from AT&T. All right, so first of all, I want to see what happened if you put a SIM card from another company on an AT&T phone. This is a Mint Mobile SIM card, and Mint Mobile used the T-Mobile network. So it's like putting a T-Mobile SIM card. Let's see what happened. Look at this. Activation required. So the phone is connecting to the servers and it says software update complete. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.3. But this is a weird message because we didn't request any updates. It was already updated. So I don't know why they show this. And here it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So here is where the iPhone is communicating with Apple servers and on the Apple servers on this IMEI there's going to be a notice saying AT&T only. That's why this is locked to AT&T. SIM not supported. But let me read this because this is interesting, right? It says, the SIM card that you currently have installed in this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under the activation policy that is currently assigned by the activation server. This is not a hardware issue with the iPhone. Please insert another SIM card from a supported carrier or request that this iPhone be unlocked by your carrier. Please contact Apple for more information. It's basically saying that it's not a problem of the hardware. The iPhone itself is a problem of the carrier, which is AT&T. AT&T told Apple to lock this device only for AT&T uh, SIM cards. But we also know that you can use any SIM card that use the AT&T network. In this case, we can use Cricket Wireless use AT&T network. So any AT&T iPhone, you can use it with Cricket and any other company using the AT&T network. Like I think it's H2O or maybe Straight Talk. They used to use the AT&T network. So now that we prove that this phone is locked, we're going to try to unlock it. So how can we do that? So we're going to try to get the IMEI first. There are different ways to get the IMEI. I'm going to use the one that I like, which is going to settings, general, about, and here is the IMEI. You can select it and copy it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type on Google, we're gonna type AT&T unlock. Okay, the first result is the AT&T unlock portal. We're gonna click on it and it says unlock your device. We're gonna click on the first link that says unlock your device. From here, we're gonna select, are you an AT&T wireless customer? No. And the IMEI, we're gonna try to paste it. And look, it didn't paste it. And I don't understand why the AT&T portal doesn't allow me to paste my IMEI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this other phone that I have. What I did is I just took a picture with this other iPhone just to see the IMEI, right, right here. So now that I have the IMEI, I'm gonna type it here. It's gonna be 35-58-0007-47-49-338. And as soon as I finish typing this, the portal is gonna recognize the IMEI as an iPhone SE. Okay, you can see it right there. We need to confirm that we are not a bot. Bicycles, okay, select the bicycles. Okay, and we need to check this. Yes, I read the legal stuff. So once we have all of that, we're gonna click on next. And here is gonna ask us for our first name, last name, mobile number. You don't need to put your mobile number, 
just put your email, okay? And type it again. And we're going to click Submit. It says, Unlock your device. Thanks. We are emailing you a link. So let me get on my email. And you can see here, AT&T just sent an email. And it says, AT&T order status, 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. So we're going to click on that email. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on Confirm. Be sure to confirm your unlock request within 24 hours. So we're going to click on that Confirm. And it says, Thanks for confirming. Now we confirm our request. What I usually do is I also click on this, check the status right away to make sure that everything is going through. And it says current status pending. So this is a, a good sign because that means that AT&T is processing the request. But here's a confused message though. It looks like you haven't confirmed. So we hit pause on your unlock request. Use the link in the email we send you and we will get back to you. So pretty much they're asking me to click on this confirm link again. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can see that the message now says that confirmation link was only good for 24 hours. So this is a confirmation that I did click on the link. And I'm going to go back and click check the status one more time. And look at this current status denied. We can't unlock this device because it's currently active on another AT&T customer account. So this is going to be the title of my video. We can unlock this device because it's currently active on another AT&T customer account. The device you want to unlock is active on another AT&T account. So we click on that, we read about it, and it basically says that the owner needs to contact AT&T. They put a phone number to call from your phone. Since we are not the original owners of this iPhone, that's where we cannot do anything. The solution for this is keep trying, you know, wait another week, another three days, keep trying. And if you don't have any success, you can try the GV Pro or you can try the RSIM. I recommend this one, it's better, which is a, a car that you put underneath the SIM card or the RSIM. And this is another way to unlock the device. This is the natural way to unlock a, a device is with AT&T. But if they don't want to do it, then we are forced to use different methods, right? The GV Pro or the RSIM. And I have videos about how to do that. So I will put that on the description. We tried two devices and we got the same result. Denied and looks like they are activated on another account, which I think is BS from AT&T. So I hope that this is just uh, an error from uh, the server because all of this process happened automatically on the AT&T unlock portal. And I hope they can fix it later, but I'm going to keep trying another three days and uh, I'll try it again. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell. So anytime I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Thank you so much and I see you soon. Bye.